Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and it will be tutorial for a new feature of the procedural generation grid, which is Tile Designer. With Tile Designer you will be able to create some architecture structures without use of any modeling software. You will use some simple curves to create shapes of a target meshes. And you can use it to create walls, roofs, pillars and much more. Then generate prefabs, game objects, with the colliders, with custom components and parameters you set in the tile designer window. And what is very important, you can use this tile designer window with tile designer node for the field setups. So you will be able to generate some structures without need of use of any prefab or model from the external source. Ok, so let's start working with it. So you can open Tile Designer window going through window, Impossible Creations, Level Design, Tile Designer window. And let's call this wall. And under Tile Editor Meshes Foldout, we can work on Tile Elements. Let's call first one Base Wall and switch to Tile Editor. And there you see some parameters, curves and preview window. There is already some example shape and we can generate it as scene object and preview it in world space with free camera. Let's apply some default material to the generated objects and again preview. And you see that textures are working as well. Let's do some changes to the shape. You can add new points by simple right mouse button or double click. For tutorial purposes and for the presentation I will do here some shape with backface. Well, it's not too pretty, but enough for the tutorial. I will add here some additional variations to the shape, like this, and something on the bottom. You can click on preview text to see it a bit bigger. To see the parameters and curves better, you often will need to rescale the window to see everything. You can apply some automatic subdivisions with two methods of doing that, one is for angle limit, second is for just for step limit, but here we will not use any subdivisions. Let's check on the scene our updated model. Ok, let's change UVs for better texture tiling and let's change the dimension of the target model. Check on scene again and yeah, it's wider and there is more tiling on the texture, but let's actually Update it one more time. Yeah, it's better. And Tile Designer is offering to build up one mesh out of multiple tiles, multiple meshes like this. So let's add new mesh element and let's create some different shape here. It will be just simple shape put on the top of the wall. So let me quickly do it. Adjust dimensions. Let's quickly preview it and our shape was drawn on the top so it added automatically on the top but we can adjust this element position scale rotation under finalized tile bookmark. Well the names are not helping so let's change the name of the top wall element and now it's more responsive. In this section you can adjust the transforming, but also you can add multiple copies on this shape. So you can make some pillar shape and put few of them here and in result you will get one combined mesh of them. You can also choose which meshes should be included in a combined collider. And there is also option for create holes in a shape of some other model, but I will show it later. Let me quickly show example of a copy. So it works simply as clicking plus button and changing the positioning again. But for now let's use just one instance of this element. So in the result we get one mesh instead of two, so it's more optimal. If I would use few materials on the different elements then there would be few mesh. How many different materials used? That many different meshes. Now let me quickly show you our generating technique and it's called lathe which is helpful for generating pillars, rails or some shapes like this. 
Here I will just create shape for some simple pillar. And here we can control how many subdivisions there are. We can also control how much degrees it's spread on. With enabled subdivisions we can use some Bezier curves to make some more advanced shapes. But I will not toy too much with it in this tutorial, I will just make some simple pillar. Let's switch to the combiner. And pillar is already here but inside the mesh so let's move it forward. Let's just move it to the side. And again on the same preview you see that this is just single mesh. Let's put some of them next to each other for some overview. Okay, and it looks like this. It's not too pretty but with some skills and some ideas you should find a lot of uses for this tile designer window. And for a last thing, you can define some parameters for the target generated object like being static, tag, layer, add some default components. You can also define the physical parameters for collision. And now let's create another element with which we will generate hole in this wall. And for this we will use the extrude technique. It generates just flat shape. And this already will be enough for the example I want to show you. Let's just call it hole. Select it and move it forward a bit. And whose mode remove. And you see it generates hole. Let's scale it and place it like its doorway. And yeah, here we go. If you wish, you can export this design to the file so you can get back to it and update it. And yeah, that's the basics for working with the tile designer window. Now let me quickly show you the tile designer node for the field setup. So let's quickly create some very basic field. Add modification. Dock window. Add empty spawner. And add tile designer node. And you see the same window, let's call it wall. And here you can do the same things I showed you before. Let's do some basic shape of the wall. Apply some material. Hit generate and you see it works. Now let's assign wall placer node. Adjust placement. Oh, and let's change the dimensions. Yeah. Oh, actually it should be rotated other way, so let's do it. Okay. And now let's create a tile for the corner. Oh, let's name this spawner well. Add another empty spawner, let's call it wall corner. Add tile designer, wall placer with curve 90 mode. Yeah. Let's copy this shape or let's actually copy whole setup for this element. Open corner tile designer, paste parameters so we get exact the same shape here. Adjust dimensions for distribution and create some shape for the corner and it will look like this. Some more points. Okay, that will be enough. And you see how it works. Let's refresh the fill setup and we need to add some material and adjust the rotation. Yeah, and it's done. And yes, so with Tile Designer you're able to create some architecture without need to use any 3D modeling software. Well, the structure here is not too much spectacular, but I'm sure you will be able to create some cool things with it. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you. 
If you have some questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe to see more. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.